The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everyone. My name is David Brown. I am the Director of Marketing for Solomar International. Uh, we are a partner organization of National Geographic, helping out with the implementation and development of the Geotourism Map Guide program. Um, we work specifically on the social media side of things. So we're really happy to be here today to talk about what's the value of social media for geotourism destinations and attractions like yourself. Hopefully, if you're on today, you've been part of the Map Guide development process um, and are actively engaged in our Facebook page and on the Map Guide website. Um, so what we're going to talk today is about how to enhance what you're doing with social media. This is an intro today, so we're going to be really focusing on the basics. So if you are already a social media expert or are already on Facebook, this may be a little bit too beginner for you. Um, but for those of you who don't have an account yet or haven't played around with social media, this will be a good primer for you to get the ball rolling. What we'll talk a little bit about today is um, what is social media? Uh, what does this term mean and uh, how does this impact what we do? Why is it important? And then we'll also have some practical tips on how to get started on Facebook. We've selected Facebook today to begin with because it is the most important uh, social media tool for travel marketers. Um, it's the simplest to use and it's a good place to begin. For those of you who are already social media experts, um, stick around for the future. Uh, we will have some more webinars um, about other activities you can do on Facebook, more complicated programs, and some of the other social media platforms that are really valuable for tourism marketing, such as Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. So let's start and answer a really important question. What is geotourism? And if you've been involved in the development of the map guide, you know that geotourism is tourism that sustains or enhances the geographic character of a place, its environment, culture, aesthetics, heritage, and the well-being of its residents. Um, you know, our geotourism map guide for the Gulf Coast states has over a thousand points of interest um, that range from history to food to nature, the outdoors. Um, and, uh, you know, this is an important part of tourism. It's an authentic kind of travel. So what's the value of social media and geotourism? Um, well, they are very intricately linked, actually. Um, both are focused on storytelling and both are focusing on inspiring people to travel. Um, so if we use social media correctly, uh, we are able to do both these things and get people to learn and discover about places and visit them. But there's a lot of different ways to market. There's a lot of different ways to do storytelling, you're probably asking yourself. So why are we using social media? Why is social media a good tool um, to use in your array of different social or different marketing activities that you're using right now? Well, it's extremely popular. Um, three out of four Americans are using some form of social media technology right now. Two thirds of the global internet population visits social network sites. And as the, as the internet continues to grow in its popularity, social media is making up a larger percentage of that. So as new websites come online and new activity is happening, social media is becoming the prevalent way that people are starting to access information uh, online. But at the end of the day, one of the most important things to know about social media and its value to you as a geotourism destination or attraction or business is that it provides word of mouth marketing. And as we all know, word of mouth marketing is the best kind of marketing that there is. Um, no one, you don't believe anything better than you believe from someone that you know, and hearing it from a friend um, is you know, the most valuable and authentic way to learn about a destination. Um, so as we continue to promote our geotourism places, uh, word of mouth marketing is a great way to push that authenticity. So why do we want to use social media? Um, well, we want to be able to inspire people to visit and experience what we have to offer. Social media is a great way to do that. If we do it correctly, we'll be able to have people think, wow, next time I travel, I know where I want to go and what I want to do. We're effectively helping people understand what's out there and how to get there. And a really great value of social media is that you're able to build a community of brand advocates. And when I say brand advocates, I mean those people who will go out and market for you. Um, you know, as a small business or as a small destination, we don't always have the time and resources to be able to do all the marketing on our own. 
And if we do social media correctly, we'll be able to have a bunch of people who will go out there and promote our places and tell our story for us. Um, they'll be able to say things like, look at the amazing things I did when I was traveling and I love this place and I want to know what's going on for the next time I travel. So the official definition of social media um, is an umbrella term that defines the various activities that integrate technology, social interaction, and the construction of words, pictures, videos, and audio, which is a bit of a mouthful and a little bit of a yawn. I like to think a little bit more as a garden party, modern day garden party. Um, it's where you go to be seen and to, be, and to see others. It's where you can go to build your reputation. And it's where you go to make sure that you're being talked about. Um, Social media is happening right now, and much like a party, if you're not part of the conversation, you might not be talked about. Um, so people are going to be discussing where they want to go, what they want to do, and whether you like it or not, and whether you are actively involved in social media or not, people are going to be talking about you. So you want to make sure that you're part of that conversation. What's great about social media is that the same rules that apply to a garden party also apply to how you would create your social media presence. Um, you want to say something that's relevant and interesting to the people who are listening, uh, but you also want to do some listening as much as you want to talk. Um, so as we'll see a little bit later today, social media is more than just broadcasting information about your place. It's engaging with people, carrying a conversation, and making sure there's a two-way road um, to that communication with your potential brand advocates and with those people who might be interested in coming to visit you. Social media and the way that we use it for tours and marketing is a little bit different than traditional marketing. If you think about television ads or newspaper advertising, um, you know, that was more about having people want you. You want to have to have this product. You want to go out and buy this product right now. What we want to do with social media is think about how we can have people talk about us, how we can create a way that the conversation continues about our product and that through that they are more inspired to come and visit. On the right hand side, you'll see this cone here, and we like to call this our funnel. And um, this is a representation of the different stages of decision making process for a traveler. We start with awareness, where people are just finding out about different opportunities, different attractions, different destinations. Um, they may have read about it somewhere or heard about it from someone. Um, we have the dreaming phase, where they can finally start putting themselves in that place. They may see themselves on the beach or out fishing with somebody. Um, the deciding phase where they pick three places that they want to go most and then finally pick that one where they decide to travel to. The booking phase, which is very clear, which is actually making that reservation or purchasing that ticket. And then the experiencing phase, which is where you are at the destination and you are enjoying all that has to offer there. Social media is great at doing is being involved in every single part of that process. We're able to have a conversation with our potential travelers, with our brand advocates, um, about where they are with each one of those processes. And if we're doing this correctly and we're providing the right kind of information, um, then we're helping them get from just being aware of our place to actually experiencing it. And through this process, we're not just talking at people. We're not just you know having that one-way conversation. This is actually a dialogue. So as they're deciding, we're able to answer their questions. We're able to provide them the kind of promotional material that they need to decide to come to our place over all the others. And through this process, again, conversations are the currency. We're not just broadcasting one single message, but we're trying to create a dialogue and create um, value between us and them. And the last point here is something that's really essential to geotourism. We want to be able to drive high value traffic. Um, you know, we, we as geotourism locations and geotourism places um, have something really great to offer. It's authentic and unique. And we want to be able to attract the kind of people who will be able to come and appreciate it and then go back and tell others. So the social media landscape uh, is very broad. And what we have here is just a collection of the platforms that are out there right now. It's one of the most popular ones. Um, up at the top, we have the big three, which is Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Um, as you may know, YouTube is a video sharing platform. Twitter is a, we call a micro blogging site uh, where you're able to push small messages to people. We have the visual platforms, Flickr, Pinterest, and Instagram, which we will talk about in a later webinar session. We have our professional social media platform called LinkedIn. 
We have Orkut and Google+, which are designed in a similar way to Facebook, um, but have a few different functionalities. And then finally, TripAdvisor. So if you're a hotel owner or you have an attraction somewhere, you're very familiar with TripAdvisor. This is a way that uh, travelers can share information about their experience with each other. This is a really important um, platform these days in tourism marketing. So that's just a little background of why social media is important and the value. Like I said, the thing, main thing to take away is that a conversation is happening about travel and tourism in your state, in your region right now. And so it's important that you become part of that conversation. The next phase that we're going to talk about is Facebook. Um, and like I said, we selected Facebook because it is the most popular social media network, um, especially as it's related to travel and tourism marketing. So what we'll do here is talk a little bit about its value and then explain step by step how to set up an account and how to create a page specifically for your business destination or attraction. So just quickly, um, Facebook is um, used by 1 billion people around the world. Um, this is great because you have a built-in captive audience. A lot of times um, with other forms of advertising, you're just trying to put your message out there. You don't know who's going to be on there. Um, you don't know who's going to be receiving it. This, um, you know that we have a billion captive users who are ready for the information that you are going to try to provide them. It's a platform specifically designed to facilitate conversations. Um, content is easy to share. Tools are readily available, available to use to engage. And um, it's really functional and easy to use. Um, these last two points, which we'll talk about in another webinar session, is that there's a built-in advertising mechanism where if you want to invest even more money, you have that ability to do that and, and reach a very specific audience. And there's also a built-in monitoring system so that as you better understand what Facebook can do for your business and what kind of results you're trying to achieve, there's metrics that you can use to track each of your posts and track each of your activities to make sure that the, you're getting the strongest return on investment possible. So Facebook is a truly global network. You can see how um, people are linked from all over the world through the messages and through their friends. And the U.S. Gulf Coast States Geotourism Map Guide design, was designed to be um, a global marketing tool for everyone. So we have a presence now on Facebook, and we are trying to reach a global audience. There's no reason why you can't do the same. So why do we want to use Facebook? Well, much like our other social media activities, we want to be able to create and nurture an active community that wants to associate with our brand. Facebook is really great because um, it's an opportunity for you to share information about things that you like. Um, you're able to share it with your friends. You'll be able to tell people what music you're interested in, what you did when you visited. Um, and what we want to do is be able to help your geotourism place be part of someone else's brand so that when they receive information from you, they can share it with their friends. So what we have next, I'm just going to show you a couple screenshots of what Facebook doesn't look like, or what Facebook looks like. If you haven't used Facebook before, um, you know, this will give you a good overview of that. I assume most of you are very familiar with this at this point. Um, but when you log in to Facebook as an account, this is what you receive. Um, you receive a stream of information um, from different resources online, different people. Um, some of them you subscribe to, and some of them Facebook thinks it can help you it's something that Facebook will provide you and share some information. So the top one I have there is Skift, which is a travel blog that provides really timely information. Uh, I subscribe to them because I love hearing uh, the kind of information they can provide. So when I log in, I see that Skift has posted a, um, a post about American Airlines. But right below that, I see that uh, Facebook is sending me some information about um, music that I might enjoy. So Ellie Goulding is a musician that I enjoy, and it thinks that Maybe I would be interested in this post about a new music video. Just below that is a post that one of my friends posted. Um, it is about a new Spike Lee movie, as you can see. Very different information top to bottom, but this is the stream of information that I receive personally as a Facebook user. This is what my page looks like. Um, this is what I have crafted for myself, but the images I've selected. And then to the right, you can see there the picture of the beach with the palm trees. Um, that's from a recent trip I took to Sri Lanka. I've posted that on my own wall, and that's shared with my friends. On the left-hand side, you have an About section, and this is information that's specifically about you. This is your profile. So you can see my job, you can see where I went to school, where I live, where I'm from. And then right below that, you can see all the friends that I have. 
So that was a personal page. This is what we like to call a brand page. The personal page is just for individuals, and this is for specifically for businesses, destinations, and attractions. These are what you'll be wanting to create in order to promote your geotourism nomination. This example is from the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, which may or may not be a geotourism destination, but they do a really good job with their social media presence. So um, I wanted to use this as a, just a first example. Um, a couple things you can notice. The very first is what we call the banner image, and this is the picture of three people dancing. Um, and you can see the brand message they have there with the golden lion. Um, right below that is their logo, MGM Grand. This is their profile picture. Um, and then you can see below the MGM Grand logo uh, description of the business that they've chosen. To the right, you'll see four boxes. And those four boxes are apps or applications that you can select and you can post. And we'll talk a little bit more about those differently. But just from this snapshot, you can really get a, a feel for what the MGM Grand is trying to promote with their specific business. Another example is a very well-known brand, which is Hilton Hotels. Right away, you can see a very different look and feel, and they're offering something very different as well. Their banner image is a little more calm. It's very focused on um, their, their staff. And then below that, the apps and the different features they provided um, are very different as well. So again, you can, see, you can start seeing that each brand has its own story, its own narrative that it has, and it's using this platform in order to provide that. So what I want to do next is walk you through um, what it's like to actually start an account. And my guess is probably most of you already have a Facebook, a Facebook account, but bear with us for a minute while we go through and just show how to start this step by step. Um, so we'll start with creating a personal account. Remember, that's for the individual. And we have a mock person here called Johnny Golf. And then right below that um, is his business, the Golf Creek Bed and Breakfast. So what we're going to do is learn how to set up a page for Johnny Golf, and then have Johnny Golf set up a page for his business Golf Creek Bed and Breakfast. So the first step is just to go to Facebook.com. Um, very simple, and this is the page that you'll see. Right below it, you'll see where it says sign up. All you have to do is begin entering your information um, as it provides. So you have your first name, your last name, your email address, a password, your birthday, your gender, and then you click sign up. So I'm going to go right now to my browser and we'll see what this looks like live. Okay. So after we click sign up, this is the page that we see. Um, and it'll help you walk through step-by-step -step to help you find friends. Remember, what we want to do is be building a community. We want to be able to be interacting and linking ourselves with other people. So when we say friends, we mean actually your friend, but it could be your family. Um, it could be work colleagues. Um, what you want to do is create this network of individuals you'd like to share and receive information with. So this provides you a lot of different ways that you can help find those uh, different individuals. You can share your contacts through your email, um, and that will just automatically import uh, your different email contacts, and you can select which one of those you'd like to be friends with. We'll go ahead and skip that for now. And the next is to fill out information. Now, again, a lot of people get nervous when they think about social media for the first time because they they are worried that all that information is going to be out there about them, that everyone's going to be able to see information they may not be ready to share. Um, what's great about Facebook and social media in general is you're allowed to put as much information out there as you want or as little as you want. Um, you know, I, I personally think that the more information you put out there, the more you share, um, the more connected you'll be. But everyone has very different preferences. So as you're going through and filling this information out, just be familiar with what you're comfortable with. Um, and if you want to put information there, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. So as you can see here, you can enter your current city, your hometown, your high school, your college, university, and your employer. So we are going to say that Gulf Creek B&B is in Mobile, Alabama. You can see right away, Mobile, Alabama puts up. You can do this all the way through these different categories. So click Next. Now we're going to be adding our profile picture. Um, so this is the image that everyone's going to see when they see our name. And all you got to do is go upload, and then you'll receive a lot of 
different options from your computer. Where's our picture here? Johnny Gulf Coast. There he is. Okay, so you can see that the picture is uploaded there, and that will be our image that everyone sees when we see Johnny Gulf Coast. Okay, so now we have a personal account, and this is up. We don't have any friends right yet, so we don't have any people um, that uh, are providing information to us, but that's something that you can do um, as you go forward. And here's a bunch of different ways that you can do that. Like I said, you can find your friends who are already on Facebook. Um, you can also search for them one-on-one. -on -one. So we can see if you can find me. You can see a lot of different David Browns here. Okay, oh, there I am. So add friend, and friend request will be sent. And it'll be up to that person to reply to your friend request positively or negatively, hopefully positively. And then once you do, you'll begin sharing information with them. So I encourage you to get on here, play around, find friends, and begin sharing information as soon as possible. Um, Facebook provides lots of information on how to do that. Um, remember, just go um, to Facebook, click on Facebook here, um, and you can just type in um, any information, try to find people, places, or things here at the top hand bar. So the next thing we want to talk about is how to build a brand page. I'm going to go back to our presentation. Let's take a look at what some brand pages look like, and then we'll learn how to do that for ourselves. So we have the Hilton page here. You can see that they've added a banner image and a, uh, a logo icon, and then they have individual posts. We're going to learn about how to do each one of those things. So we'll go here, to the top right hand bar, and we'll click on Create Page. Now, very intuitively, Facebook is going to help you step by step go through and create a page for your individual business. So we are doing Gulf Creek Bed and Breakfast. We're going to click on Local Business or Place. And then we'll have a whole set of different information that we can want to put in here. So we want to choose a category. We'll say that we are Jordan Site Seating, Gulf Creek, Bed and Breakfast. Don't have a street address, put in Mobile, Alabama. All right. And then again, you can add as much information or as little information as you want here. Okay, so now that we've gotten through uh, the first step, we have uh, three or four other steps we need to complete. So the first one is to add a category or description of your business in order to increase your page search. So as people are typing in mobile bed and breakfast, we wanna make sure that we come up, okay? So our category is bed and breakfast. But you could also put in hotel, you could also put in hospitality, think of anything that your business might be. So if you're a park, you want to put in something related to outdoor recreation. Um, if you're a destination, you will probably want to put in destination, travel, visitor services, those kind of things. The next is um, a brief description of your business. So this is probably something you already have on your website or something you've already thought about on your other materials that you're using to, to market yourself. For Gulf Creek Bed and Breakfast, we're going to say or hospitality on the day. Okay. So just answer a few more questions here. Okay. So that's all the basic information. Now what we want to do is be able to add the profile picture. Remember, this is generally our logo or something that's going to represent us. 
much like the NGM Grand logo with the lion. We'll upload that from our computer. Let's see. Well, we'll go ahead and use James for now. Okay. Okay, and this is a little bit more detailed, so we'll skip that for now. And this is advertising, which we will cover in a later uh, webinar. So skip the fourth step. All right, and here we have our page. All right, Gulf Creek Bed and Breakfast, Hotel Hospitality Service in Mobile, Alabama. All right. So the next thing you want to do is make sure that we can add a cover photo. So you'll remember um, that's the great photo that Hilton had of the man spinning pizza, or it's the cover photo um, from MGM Grand with the three people dancing. We add a cover the same way that we do um, with all the other photos. So you just click add a cover, find an image that you wanted, and upload it. And we're not able to do that right now, but it's a very simple process, very similar to what you did before. Um, just find a picture, add it, and we want to make sure that it's horizontal, very striking, uh, so it's going to capture people's eyes. Okay, so that's how you set up a personal page and you set up a, uh, a page for your uh, individual place. Okay, so remember there's two different things. One is your person, and that's going to be your individual account specifically for who you are as a human being, <laughs> and then your separate one, which is all about your business. So when you post updates, you're gonna be posting them here as the business. Okay, so let's go back to our presentation. Okay, and we'll look at some more examples of great pages and great posts, and we'll come back and learn how to post um, right afterwards. So this is Marriott, again, another global brand. And you can see that their look and feel is very different um, from the other two. Um, they're very focused on this message, which is about them getting a million new likes. You can see that they're, um, they have a very different uh, words and phrases they're using here. And they don't have as many apps and buttons, um, but really just keeping it very streamlined and simple, which is perfectly OK to do. So these are some examples of Marriott's posts, okay? Um, they have an interesting tone that they use. Um, they like to focus on humor, which is great because that's what their brand is focused on um, for this particular platform. And you have to figure out what works best for you. So you can see some examples here. My favorite is the middle one where it says, trying to hire some giraffes to clean the 38th floor windows of our New York Marriott downtown property. Any leads? Now, this is great because a, it reminds you that New York has a, or Marriott has a great property downtown that's a skyscraper. So you're learning something about the place, um, but you're also doing it in a humorous way. And you can see on that post, they've had 3,230 people like it. Um, it's been shared 134 times, and there's a number of comments of people who've liked it. To the left um, is, you know, again, talking about nightlife and talking about the fun imagery of staying in a Marriott hotel. It says, if you do extra work on the weekend, you should definitely do extra partying just to keep things balanced. So again, great shot of their, um, their lobby and um, some fun interaction at the bottom there. So going back to Hilton, you can see they have a very different approach. Um, they are talking specifically about one property they have, headed to the sunny shores of Hawaii, experience a luau, visit Volcanoes National Park, and spot the Honus, the Hawaiian for turtle, on the black sand beach. So you're getting through this a sense of the destination. They've also created a great image there, and then they have, very importantly, a link. And that link drives directly to the website for that particular property. And we'll talk about this again later, but we always have to remember that Facebook is a way to drive traffic, right? We're definitely storytelling, we're definitely getting the word out there but we wanna make sure that we are driving people to that last place, which is the booking. So if you're a hotel, a bed and breakfast, or an attraction that sells tickets, um, there might be a lot of great information on your website that you wanna drive people to. So you always wanna think about the inspiring part and then that booking component at the end. 
Here's another example of a different route that a company is taking. This is TripIt, and TripIt is a um, social media platform that helps you share and organize your uh, travel logistics. So if you're, you have um, tickets for hotel tickets and, I'm sorry, airline tickets and hotel reservations, you can all upload it to one place and um, it'll organize it for you. And they've been creating a brand um, that's all about experiences, right? So instead of just pushing, here's a feature that TripIt has, here's when you can download it, here's a special of the week, um, they do two things that are really interesting. First, on the left-hand side, you'll see that their cover photo, their banner image at the top, is a travel photo um, submitted by one of their users, um, which is great. It's a way to engage someone. It's a, it's a way to value your users and have that conversation with them. To the right is a post that they had. What's the best, what's the best dish you've eaten abroad? Um, they have a link back to their website, um, but they also are asking people very specific questions they can respond to. Again, creating that dialogue, creating that conversation. Um, and through that process, they're helping to build that brand um, about TripIt, about traveling, about experiencing things. And this is a look at Texas Tourism's page. You know, they have over 75,000 followers, um, and their approach is very different as well. What they've done is each Monday, they post a motivational quote. So you can see that Dr. Seuss quote there to the right. Uh, with a link to, I believe it's the Dally, Dallas County Fair with the big um, wheel there. Um, so you can see that they're inspiring people, they are um, creating engagement, but also driving people um, to their website. All right, so what we want to be able to do is to create a community of those who read our posts or engage with our posts. How do we do that? Um, well, there's a lot of different tools at our disposal, especially being a part of the travel and tourism industry. Um, we're able to highlight our guests. We're able to highlight the residents um, of the town that we live in. We're able to highlight local events and festivals. We're also able to highlight local companies that we partner with. Um, so doing this, it's kind of a tit for tat um, operation, right? If you're sharing information about um, those that you want to engage with, they're likely to share information about you as well. So again, this is a social network. This is, this is creating those bonds between people and places and things. An example of a group that does this very well is Joie de Vivre Hotels. Uh, they're based um, in California, uh, and they have a really interesting image. They use social media very well. And you can see here um, on their posts that they've chosen not to necessarily highlight what their rooms look like, what their lobbies look like, um, but the different activities that they do from day to day. So on the left-hand side, you'll see that they had an event around the Chicago Cubs home opener. Um, they've highlighted you know, that brand that they love, and they're talking about the kind of cool activities that they have um, each day. On the right-hand side, you can see some, fo some photos of people enjoying um, the hotel during Coachella weekend, which is a big music festival in California. So again, you can see that they're highlighting people, they're showing real life activity, and through that they're also tagging, which we'll talk about a little bit later, um, people and um, organizations. So you can see that there's some text in black and some text in blue. The text in blue means that that person is tagged and it's a clickable link. We'll show you how to do that shortly. Um, but again, we're sharing, we're sharing our different brand values. We are demonstrating what um, our business does on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, ME by Malia is a, another hotel brand um, that does this very successfully as well. You can see what kind of people they're trying to promote, um, which is the beachgoers. And um, they sent a cameraman out to the beach one day, out to the nightclubs, took pictures of people, and then those people are tagged in them. So um, once they're tagged, that picture shows up on their personal timeline as well. Um, so this is a really great way to create your fans. Um, they see that they tagged you and then they'll like your page. And then now you have someone that you can continue to talk to going forward. So they may have visited this hotel once. And now you can remind them of what a great experience they had and hopefully they can come back again. Okay, so let's look at how to create great posts like that. Let's go back to our browser. Okay. All right, so when we create a post, um, we have two, three different components, right? The first is text, right? So you can easily just say, 
Golf Creek is open for business. All right. All right, or you can also put a photo as well. All you do is click on photo and video, upload photos and videos, and select one. So let's click this one of potentially Gulf Creek. frozen here. All right, so you can see that post that we had before. Let's add our photo. Hmm. All right, well, Facebook is not cooperating right now. Okay, well, I apologize. We will follow up and show you how to do that. But very simply, all you do is click upload photo and video, select one, and then you'll have that. Okay? So one thing we want to do, just kind of looking at our best practices from the examples that we have, is talk about something relevant, interesting going on. So let's show, let's talk about something that's exciting that we can do at Gulf Coast Creek, which is fishing, right? So say this month is National Fishing Month. Book now for a free boat rental. Okay, and then we will put this here. We call Gulf Coast, Gulf Creek, B, com. All right. Now, what will make this post better like you said, is to tag, all right? We do that very easily by adding an at symbol in front of something. All right, so you can see when we do that, we start getting a lot of different options of things um, that are related to what we're typing just by putting that at symbol in front of us. So we know that National Fishing Month has its own page. So we're going to click here, and you'll see the blue highlighted. That means that that organization has been tagged, OK? So we click that. All right, now we have our second post, right? This month is National Fishing Month. Book now for a free boat rental and a link back to our website. OK, so if we click on this, you'll see how it drives us to National Fishing Month. In their specific page. Let me go back. Okay, so that's how you post. And there's a bunch of other functionalities on here that we'll talk about during our next webinar, how to dig into adding photo and video albums, um, how to send messages, how to create events and milestones, how to play around some of this other information that we have here. But that's the very basics on how to post um, onto your brand page. Okay, so let's go back. All right, so there are a lot of different options, right? You've seen a lot of different variety on how you can post, things you can post about. Um, but what are some keys to success? What are some things that are consistent um, that we've found um, for uh, different brand pages? Well, the first thing is to post content that people will like. Remember the garden party rule. You want to be talking about something that's interesting and relevant, something that's engaging, um, generally very striking, very easy to read. Um, you know, you want to think about things that people will like and, in air quotes, that they will like also, right? So at the end of the day, the more that we can get people to click like on our posts, um, the more that people are going to see that and be sharing it with their friends. So remember to think about things that people will like and like. Um, 
a lot of successful pages use humor, or at least they keep it light. Um, I think a lot of times as tourism and marketers, we tend to think that we have to be very serious. We have to have strong messages that we have to have professional photos. That's not always necessary. Social media is a great equalizer and really helps us to um, post stuff that is off the cuff, um, something that is really in the tone of your particular uh, business or your particular entity. So speak in vernacular, speak like a common person, and you'll see a lot more responses. Um, like those great hotels, tag people and places to provide additional content and engagement. Participate on other pages. Um, you know, as you see other businesses that are posting great things, leave a comment, like it, um, or you can either copy that content directly to your page and share that as well. Again, what you're trying to do is build a community um, and helping people see your value as a Facebook page by sharing um, their content. Send and reply to messages. As your community grows, people are going to have questions, people are going to leave comments, people are going to send you direct messages. Make sure that you're monitoring that and replying to it, showing that there is a human on the other side of that Facebook page. Reward your best followers. Uh, remember uh, TripIt's banner image. Make sure that you can do some fun things like that to let those people know who are constantly engaging on your page that you're hearing them, that you're seeing them. Um, and there's nothing better to help make them want to come back and visit you again than having them acknowledge that you acknowledge them. And then directionality. Remember to add links as much as possible. Um, we want to make sure that we're using Facebook um, the best way to get people to drive traffic to your website or to um, other locations that are valuable. So add links, remember directionality. So one other big question that we get is content. What the heck do we put up there? Um, there's lots of different things and you saw lots of different ways that um, those businesses were approaching that. Um, but here are a couple just quick ideas that you can use right now to um, start adding more posts to your page. Um, an easy one is covering events that are happening um, on or around your geotourism place. So if there's a festival, a conference, um, you're undergoing renovations, um, something new is being built nearby, Highlight that. Go snap a picture or um, copy a link from their website. Post it on your wall. Um, what this does is help show you that your business, your attraction, is tied into the larger destination. It shows that you're, um, you're attached to the region. Um, you can also have a contest. Um, we love contests here at Solomar. Um, something as easy as just post your favorite beach story if you're a beach attraction and then win a free t-shirt. And that inspires people to interact with your page, to leave memories, and um, in return, they get a little incentive, something easy and low cost. You can ask a question. Um, people tend to love this. You know, pick um, a question that's really easy for them to respond to and just post it up and see what kind of responses you get. Um, and as you see these kind of come in, you can like them, respond to them, um, you know, feature them uh, the next week. So one quick question is, what's your favorite summer activity? If you are a national park or, you know, you're a tour operator that focuses on fishing trips, like something like this would be really great. Um, fill in the blank. This is another quick uh, social media trick that works really well. Start a sentence and leave a blank and see what people fill in. Um, for instance, you could put, uh, when I arrive at the state park, the first thing I'll do is blank. And I think you'll be really impressed to see what kind of people, what things people respond with. Um, another thing is to add uh, trivia and history. Um, so for instance, something like Gulf Creek Bed and Breakfast is located near one of Alabama's oldest state parks, and you could talk about that. Again, you're providing valuable, interesting information that people want to share, um, they want to read about, and then it's adding to your brand. So now people know that you are um, near a state park, they know what kind of activities that are available to do at your business. And then another one that is really helpful to help you organize what kind of message you want to present, present um, is a weekly theme. You think back to what Texas did with the Motivational Mondays, um, they now know every Monday something that they can post. Um, there are lots of different iterations of this. Uh, you know, one fun thing would be like a Food Friday, or you could feature a staff member once a week. Um, you could talk about culture. You could talk about nature. Um, but having that consistency and having that is really a great way to connect with your fans and then also help you figure out what kind of content to post. So we're running a little bit late on time now, so I just want to wrap this up and just um, remind you the most important thing with social media is that you need to find your own voice and be true to it. Um, we've seen lots of different examples of lots of different ways to present yourself. Um, and as geotourism destinations and locations, um, it's important to be authentic. 
Um, so if you're someone who has a humorous voice and you like to talk and connect with your people that way, then go ahead and do it. Um, but if you are someone who is uh, more reserved or likes to talk about culture more, do that as well. Um, but you just need to find your voice and be true to it. And there's no doubt in my mind that you, each and every one of you will be able to do that. So thank you for listening in today. Um, this is just the beginning of our webinar series. Like I said, um, this is supposed to serve as an intro to Facebook and social media. Our next couple of webinars will dig into some of the other aspects. Um, and we'll also be looking at other platforms and ways that you can boost the visibility of your particular place. Um, we are here to support you. If you have any questions at all, feel free to email me or call me. Um, if you have questions about content or functionality, um, don't hes hesitate to reach out to me. I'm more than happy to help out however I can. Um, you have my email address there, my phone number there, um, and we really look forward to speaking with you soon. Um, have a great week, and we will talk to you in the future.